Hello and welcome, Vijay Srinivasan. We are here at the IIT Madras, joined by an angel investor, Mr. Sindhil Kumar. Thank you very much uh, for joining us on the panel. Great to have you. Yep. So, um, you know, Donald Trump has become the new president-elect in the United, new president of the United States. You know, what are you anticipating? You think there's going to be a lot of investments pouring into India? Um, I wish I say yes, but uh, it doesn't look like much, um, you know, in terms of um, his policies, what it has. It's not just for India, for um, the rest of the world as well. His plans are to increase uh, spending, both fisc and to print more money. That will put you in a scenario where uh, inflation will be very high and interest rates will start to go up. So what does that mean to us is that our interest rates will also have a significant effect and a strong dollar is not going to help us. So you are here to, you know, sort of uh, look at how the startup pitches are going forward. So tell me what actually interests you as you, as you look out to invest. So the value that one creates from um, investing in businesses is the th thriller. You know, um, business purposefully or primarily is for value creation. And what problem are we solving? And if you are able to solve a problem which is monetizable, then it becomes a business. Uh, we were, uh, you know, in a, in a phase where um, the phase of valuation building was very high. Now we have matured more as a market where we are really getting into problems and solving problems which are domestic and are financially viable problems. And when you solve vi you know, problems which are financially viable, then you build a good business model as well. So India is going through that phase, and I think next 15, 20 years would be an um, exciting, play, exciting play for India. I, I, I had a quick uh, you know, look at your investor portfolio. You seem to be very interested in fintech. What are the sectors and industries you're bullish on? <sighs> India is an opportunity for uh, many places. Uh, healthcare is a black horse, I would say. Um, you know, the deployment of technology can solve the access problem to a larger extent. Um, education, again, technology can play a significant role there. Um, if there's a government support, then judiciary can also become significantly efficient if technology is deployed there. Uh, logistics, again. So there's quite a lot of opportunity space in India where you can do well. And the use of tech can actually make life much better for the sector to get efficient. Uh, yeah. Okay, so how do you see the future of angel investing shape up in India? We see a lot of Y Combinators kind of set of, you know, players coming in. We also there's a VCs out there. So what's the role that the angel investors will play in the next decade? See, angel investors help um, the first phase of business, which is from the uh, ideation or from the seed side till the time it comes to the post money. Post money is when the business is uh, product is tested and the model is validated, then it becomes post money and then VCs come in there front. So again, if you see um, as a market, um, you know, you have US which has got highly efficient financial markets. And then you have China which has uh, copied significantly or was influenced significantly by US and they've also got significant amount of VC investments there. Uh, but when you look at India, we are in a very nascent stage. So to look at it in the positive side, there's quite a lot of journey to be covered here in India. So I think next 15, 20 years, capital chases growth and growth is very much here in our place. And I think capital will come here. And this, that leaves a lot of angel investors to capture that value also. Uh, by design, if you take Silicon Valley or uh, China, the start of founders end up in making a lot of money because they are the front runners. And then they keep investing on, you know, the other startups because it's a theory of or a formula of success breeding success. And that has not yet started in India. The few guys who are the startup guys ended up making money. They are starting to invest. We have high growth on AIFs and family offices also. And the domestic savings, which is pouring into both directly the IPO market and uh, some of it through AIFs, will fuel it even more. So the journey for India from here on the next 15, 20 years will be very exciting, provided we take care of the macro as well. One last question there. So we had this, uh, you know, uh, we had this concept called Unicorn there. We were running behind that. We had Proficon later. We had a Decocon. And now what we talk about is an Indicon. So what do you, so, you know, do you think, and there's a lot of conversation going on social media, that Indicon is the best way, sort of the tailor-made approach as far as Indian startups are concerned. It's so certainly focused on the top line growth, right? So you think that's a better way to, as far as path to profitability is concerned? See, uh, Unicorn metrics is a idea which came from, again, the Western uh, Silicon idea, Silicon Valley, yeah. Based on the private capital's valuation of a business, it is termed as Unicorn. Now, this idea of Unicorn didn't come 
you know, initially to come India and we are late in this journey. Now, that leaves us with a lot of learning what mistakes have happened in the front, right? In the last 10 years, you had a lot of unicorn names in India who don't survive now, right? Um, I don't want to pick any names, but there are a lot of companies which are unicorn and not anymore. So that leaves you to become more matured, to start focusing on where you are actually creating value and build models which is, you know, financed by either retained earnings or through, um, you know, the private capital. So valuation, uh, I have my own reservations. I wouldn't come in there, but a fundamental good business has to create value, not just for the shareholders or for the promoters, but to society in large and scale up to a larger scale. Thank you, Sanil. Great talking to you. Thank you. Thank you so much.